given your experience, how that hits your ears to hear folks say, if they could do it to Donald Trump, they could do it to you. You know, justice has always eluded black and brown people, even to this day. You know, I sit on the, the, the board of the Innocence Project, and one of the most interesting things that I see is that DNA, dioxyribonucleic acid, has helped freed over hundreds of people. We were found innocent 13 years after. And Donald Trump went on to say they had to be guilty of something. And I think that that was the sentiment in America, yeah. that negative stain that is still here, that thing that plagues us in the justice system, that thing where we're constantly saying, where is the justice for us? Where is the justice for us? Because far too often it is just us. Lady, Lady, Lady Liberty is not blind, especially when it comes to black folks. But that was prison reform activist and freedom fighter, Dr. Youssef Saleem, known as part of the exonerated five, five young black and Latino teenagers who were falsely imprisoned for 13 years, 13 flipping years for rape in New York City in 1989. Now, Dr. Saleem was speaking to the double standard of the right wing's false perceptions of injustice, as opposed to the reality of injustice in the United States legal system. As Trump continues to cry foul about his legal troubles, it was in 1989 that he took his time to ensure that the now exonerated five were given the worst kind of punishment for a crime they did not commit. If you're too young to remember, Trump took out a full page ad in the New York Times. That is the ad right there, bring back the death penalty, bring back our police. This is from 1989. He went on, I want to hate these murderers. And I always will. I am not looking to psychoanalyze or understand them. I am looking to punish them. Woo, Donald J. Trump, baby, 1989 in the New York Times. And nearly 20 years after their innocence was proven in 2019, this headline, Trump will not apologize for calling for the death penalty over Central Park. Five, that was the headline. Now we call them the exonerated five now, but that is the headline right there. And now that Trump is facing troubles of his own, Dr. Saleem is serving him with some major karma, baby. Ain't nothing like a little petty. This is it right here. Over 30 years ago, Donald Trump took out full page ads calling for my execution. On the day he was arrested and arraigned, and arraigned, here is my ad in response. And in his own full page ad, Dr. Youssef says, being wrongfully convicted as a teenager was an experience that changed my life drastically. But the problem our community faced when my name was splashed across the newspaper a generation ago, inadequate housing, underfunded schools, public safety concerns, and a lack of good jobs became worse during Trump's time in office. He then acknowledged Trump directly in this ad, stating, if the charges are proven, and I like how Doc does this, he real smooth with it. If the charges are proven and you are found guilty, I hope that you endure whatever penalties are imposed with the same strength and dignity that the exonerated five showed as we served our punishment for a crime we did not commit. You better go ahead and underline that bolded underscore exclamation point message in a bottle on the train and on a plane. I ain't said that in a long time, but he did that. Lance, your thoughts about this? Uh, I think, you know, I've seen you accused before online of taking right wingers commentary uncharitably, but I don't think we should mince words when it comes to what Donald Trump did here. This is one of the most altruism he's ever shown. He took out a full page ad asking for the murder of black teenagers. That's an innocent black teenagers as well. And like this this man has an abhorrent history of racism from, you know, the birth certificate scandal that he was like at the forefront of. Here's what not a lot of people know. He apparently pitched a, a like a race war version of the apprentice where it was going to be black contestants versus white contestants. Like it, it's it's like his history. It's obviously disgusting, abhorrent, all that kind of stuff, but like I, I, I'm totally on board with you. It is wonderful to see this come full circle and someone able to actually, you know, throw shade on them, uh, karma, whatever you want to call it. That that is actually a pretty wonderful thing, especially that they're now exonerated. 
Yeah, amen to that. And like Dr. Youssef Salim said, I mean, that they'll never get that time back. I'm really glad that they're rebuilding their lives and people are understanding what they went through. But when you are falsely accused and you have to serve even a minute in prison, it is life altering. Let's know 13 years. And in some cases, people spend 20, 30, even 40 years before their innocence is proven. So good on Dr. Youssef for dishing it out. Donald Day Chump, the, the former president, he can dish it, baby, but he cannot take it.